Welcome back to Cigar Time. Yes. Seems like I say that all the time. It seems Once like. <laughs> but we genuinely welcome you back. We genuinely. are thrilled again that you've honored us by tuning in and watching the world's most highest rated, most watched show all about premium cigars. Absolutely. And we're very happy to have Tom McCormick back from My Father's Thank Cigars. You. The week you. flew by. The week flew it's by. Nice it's amazing. Back. It was Thank amazing. Uh, again, we're going to smoke another creation by My Father's Cigars, and the lovely Miss T will tell you all about our cigar today. Our cigar today is by my father. It's the Flor de las Antillas. I love this cigar, by the way. It's one of my favorites because I've had it before. Um, the wrapper is a Nicaraguan sun grown and the binder and filler Nicaraguan. The sizes are a Bellicoso, a Gordo, a Robusto, and a Toro. And the flavor profile is Coco. Excellent. Finally said it right. Pepper, sweet cedar, and earth. And it has a gorgeous band and a nice foot band. Make sure you take that off. Yeah, the foot band tastes awful if you burn it. Some guy almost lit the other day and I said, oh, take it off. So funny. funny. He really was going to light thing it. about you. <laughs> you take it off. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> well, you're just jealous when I reach you to it. No. 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 <laughs> Oh, For the record, when we had our your five favorite all-time cigars, mm -hmm. uh, this was right at the top of my list. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's just a really good cigar, and it doesn't have that m much spice, which I love. So there you go. Great cigar. Well, before we get too far into the show, I think uh, Miss T should give you a little primer about our social media availabilities to everybody, and her own, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot Super about valid. that one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah you funny. forgot about it. Right? I try not to be so vain. Um, so, our, oh, I do, I really do, I can't help she just you know. that coming. It's just in me, hard. it's that aura <laughs> that I have that so few people just don't. But She's anyway, I am. Um, so our social media for Cigar Cigars is the face, our Facebook page. Um, like I said before, you can go on there, you can see all the advertising, the deals that we do, the max packs that we have. Um, one of the things I love to show customers are our max packs. We cannot forget about our house brands as well too, our Eduardo line. We have some really great cigars in there and the price is amazing. Um, we also have an Instagram for Cigar Cigars, so you can also go on that. Like I said, Scott, he mainly deals with that one. and. He does a lot of reviews on there, and he posts a lot of new cigars that are not even out yet. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, as far as our, oh, our website. Oh, can't forget that. Our CC Cigar website. You can go on there. You can find out where all 10 stores are. Um, our, I think our website is very easy to navigate. I know a lot of websites are kind of difficult, some of them. But this one is really easy. I mean, you go on there. You can just pick whichever category you want. Um, all the way down from the hottie to the hottie page to the max packs so you can even look at our lounges what's in the humidor what's new so that's pretty cool and you can watch our past shows on there as well um, my Facebook is cigar well they made me change it I'm so mad they made everybody change it but it's a Tia Calhoun and um, it's a cigar goddess and you can go on there and see all the pics that I take um, all the events that we do I'm always taking pictures of that showing what we give out and my Instagram is Cigar Goddess, that's C-G-A-R Goddess. And you can also see, um, you know, a lot of things that we do as well, too. I think you and spelled cigar wrong. No, that's how I like to spell it, C-G. Cigar. Spell it that way. Cigar. <laughs> cigar. C. Yeah, spell it. Spell uh, cigar. Cigar really should be C-G-A-R. Cigar. Where's cigar. the I? There's no it's I in cigar. cigar. It's cigar. <laughs> There's no I in cigar. There's, There's no, a we, but no I. That's right. There is no I in cigar. Yeah. It's not an I, way, it's a we. You need a whole team <laughs> to do the cigars, right? That's right. You do. 200 hands. Well, it's a, you know, someone said I, I don't talk enough, so like I'm, I'm going to start like talking more. You need to bomb a village or something? Bookends. Uh, did you forget that? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you forget that you'll be going out to events? And I will be going out to events. Um, if you'd like <laughs> to have me at one of your events, <laughs> you can call... Um, our store and and um, you can you know book me for sh for an event. So. I would love to have you at an event. No. During an event. 
Uh, yeah, the, the double entendres freely flow that was here. A triple entendre. <laughs> triple. <laughs> that was a loss in the sauce entendre. Okay, back to cigars. Thank yeah, you very yeah, much. That was a lovely good. presentation. Or by loss the in the spice. I think we should go around the table and get I her. I need in the light. Well, That's okay. Skip, talk, skip me. We'll, uh, we'll skip you. Okay. Scott, your first impression? Absolutely not. I will not go first. <laughs> Rob will Rob, go first. You're first. Right. Uh, when I first like this up, I, I get, agree. I get a, a real punch of pepper. <laughs> I get a real hint of pepper as soon as I like this up. Um, and also, I'm going to get a chocolatey taste. He likes to get slapped. The, okay, I do, actually. I know you guys want to say it. I don't um, lie. I get a, a chocolatey taste from this. I when love the way up, you mm -hmm. say chocolate. Chocolatey? I'm from Brooklyn. I say chocolate. Chocolate. Oh. You're from I don't from you say, Philadelphia. You, say, you say chocolate. Chocolate. It's chocolate. Chocolate. It's chocolate. 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 It's chocolate. chocolate. Uh, and chocolate and coffee and water. Um, it's starting off great. It's got a little bit of spice to it. What is most pronounced to me though is the sweet. I mean, it's just yeah. a really sweet cigar. Sweet on cocoa, purpose. Cocoa, cocoa, cocoa. I'm not getting cocoa yet. Yeah, I get as soon as I lit it up. Right away. Mm -mm. Yeah. How about the, wood? I don't get wood. I'm too old. That's a shame. Not like a personal problem. <laughs> Tia, do you get wood? I'm not. Oh, she can. I know how to chop wood. Oh, wow. How much wood? Yeah. Kind of wood chuck, chuck. Right. Well, you're so, were you yeah. done with your initial uh, thoughts? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't it's sure. Cocoa, 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 and a um, little bit of pepper. I love it. You do get the spice, but it's not overpowering. It's actually kind of like in the back. So you get this cocoa first, and then you get the spice coming right after it. And I like that. That's nice, mm -hmm. you know? So it's a different take. Instead of getting the, you know, a smack of pepper first, you get the cocoa and then a little pepper. You after. know those um, one, those two, dark pop. chocolates that have That's a little bit of yeah, kind of like in that, them? right? So you get the you get the chocolate yes. first. I mean the chocolate first, <laughs> yeah. and then you get some some pepper behind. Yes. it's like that. It's like yeah, just what Paul said, just like that. Well, I for one, uh, it started out with a load of pepper. You get the sweet right off the bat. Uh -huh. You get the pepper and the sweet pretty close together. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Got a nice finish to it. And I do believe from my previous experience smoking these uh -huh. that uh, it's only going to just improve. Yes. Yeah. And it's box press. It's, it's, a, it, soft, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a soft box press. press, yeah. box press yeah. But it's, yeah. I love it. I love it. Rob, what's the price point on these? Uh, they range in price from 7 to $9. Uh, the one we're smoking now is the Toro, which is seven thirty. Mm, that's all in the sweet cocoa spot. This caliber, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's tremendous. a great yeah. spot. It's tremendous. This is a really nice premium. It's in the sweet no chocolate spot. Right. Right. <laughs> it's funny you asked that. This was the number one rated cigar in 2012. That's right. 2012? Yes. Wow, that long yeah. ago? Yeah. yeah. Time flies when you're having yeah. fun. You know, it's funny. Yeah. I talk about a lot, a lot of cigars only having a short shelf life, like maybe a year. This one is not slowed down no. at all. Mm. 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 At if, all. if anything, this is just a... Uh, picked up more and more. Yeah. It's hard to keep this one in. I, I think it speaks to the fact that it's it's kind of approachable for everybody who smokes cigars. It if is. you're a more mild smoker, uh, mm -hmm. like Tia said she is, um, or more full bodied like off. like Rob says, uh, it's you know, it's 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 not gonna blow your head off if you're a more mild smoker and it's not gonna let you down if you're a more full bodied yeah. smoker. So it's, exactly. it's really for everybody. It is. What's the origin of this cigar? It is an, it's all Nicaraguan. This is a uh, No no but I mean where did the idea come from and how was so it blended? It's <laughs> it's the, the name Flor de las Antillas. It means uh, flower of the Antillas. So it's, it's an homage to uh, to Cuba, mm -hmm. uh, the, the biggest of the Antilla Islands. Right. Um, it's a beautiful sun-grown wrapper from the uh, Las mm -hmm. Marias farm, and it, as I said, it's an all Nicaraguan blend. Um, you know, one of the very cool things outside of the the, the flavor is just the artwork on the cigar. It's yes. it's beautiful. The the band, it's the boxes, they're they're classic. They are. They again, they they showcase traditional Cuban art. Yes. And these are these are original art art pieces from our... Uh, really? Yeah, these are done in-house by uh, Alcides, uh, which is Papin's nephew. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's just like everything Aww. else in this company, it's, it's all family. It's family, mm -hmm. yeah. That's it's all there's, family. There's nudity on this uh, bag. <laughs> nudity? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of nudity. Yeah, oh, nudity. it is! I wanted to know how to engineer a meeting with her. Good luck with that. See what we can do. Good luck. See what we can do. Good luck with that. I'll, I'll let you guys know after your next order, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, so there is a price. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. There's always a price. 
Uh, now that we know what she is, it's just a matter of how much it costs. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Exactly. So, once again, I have to ask, the wrapper on this is Nicaraguan Sun Grown. Yes. The binder and filler are Nicaraguan... They are proprietary blends, all from our farms. Uh, uh, they are tobacco. Is, that's this, why we don't they are, they are tobacco. This one... They are tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you they are tobacco. This one, Pepin and, and uh, Jaime keep close to the vest. I exactly. Yes. Smart move. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any other Nick Rodwin Sun Grounds without naming names? Yes, there are. Yeah. Are there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, none that really matter, but <laughs> <laughs> there are others that, <laughs> that have tried. They have tried. I Nothing like that. Like That's this. cute. No. no. This is very tasty. So, Paul, it's uh, yummy. I have nothing to say. Delicioso. It's delicioso. Okay. Paul's just enjoying the cigar. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm transported. Hey, how about them pillies? Yeah. No. no. Still undefeated. Yeah. No. They're undefeated? In his no. dream. Which team have you been watching? In my head they are. Oh, In his head. Okay. They're going to go 162 and 0, right? Mm -hmm. Talking about the Eagles. 161 and 1. <laughs> 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 my Eagles alone now. 161 and 1. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I think they already got the one. And I think you were. <laughs> I think it's just a Philly thing to trade off like your best players. I mean, I don't understand that. We won't go there, but it, it just, it's just a Philly thing. Which player did they play off that was the best? 76ers? I mean, what are they doing with that? Sixers don't count. Oh, <laughs> God. Who are the Eagles, Sixers? the Eagles. Sixers are pathetic. Who are the Sixers? <laughs> who are the Sixers? Now, now you can know. say who are the Sixers. Yes, you who can cares? say that. Sixers. They actually weren't the worst team, so that's not saying something. Well, since the Pepines have made this an homage True. to Cuba. I forgot you don't like that. Why don't we again, because I know we've talked mm -hmm. about it briefly in the past, why the similarities between Nicaragua and Cuba, soil-wise, mountainous region-wise, and so forth and so on. Why don't you give us some insight into that? How's that? We can do that. Um, That's why I called on you. I knew you had it in you. It has long been said that out of all of the countries anywhere that they grow tobacco in, uh, Nicaraguan tobacco has more in common with Cuban tobacco than any of the others. And a lot of that has to do with the mineral content of the soil. But an interesting thing about Nicaragua is how different the tobacco is from slightly different areas in the country. Yes. The variation is tremendous. You know, we've talked about the fact that it runs the gamut from the volcanic soil on uh, Ometepe, the island, the volcanic island in the middle of Lake uh, Nicaragua. and. Uh, in, in Esteli or Esteli, depending on who you are, you have tobacco that's grown in what they call black soil, and it's, it's very rich. It's probably the strongest of the Nicaraguan tobaccos. And then, you know, you can, you can uh, go and get tobacco in Condega, and that's going to be different. Uh, Condega tobacco is a little lighter, isn't it? It is, yeah. it is a little lighter and a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. I like when they use all three and do a nice blend with that. It's so interesting. And and for all we know, since this, this is be. a mystery, mm -hmm. yeah, this, <laughs> this could be one this, of them. <laughs> this could be one of those. Yeah. I wonder why, if Nicaragua is the, they say the closest to Cuban, which I would agree with, then when everybody left Cuba, I think it seems like they all settled in Nic or, uh, the Dominican Republic at first. It's closer, physically. Is that yeah. what it is? It's, one it's a much easier yeah. jump. I have a question for you. Oh, yeah, hey, I said the same thing. Never mind. Wow. We said the same thing at the same time. Oh, wow. It's on camera. It's on camera. So puncher. Yeah. <laughs> um, are there volcanoes in Cuba? No. Exactly. So how is this the same? Can, it, can Nicaraguan tobacco be the same? Because you said earlier on another show that the, the, the reason that Cuban tobacco is, is good and is one of the best is because of the stress from the from the soil when this one is rich in nutrients and everything like that yes and uh, isn't that a relatively new theory about the stress that is a new theory the the tobacco from Ometepe is a whole different animal because that's pure mm -hmm. volcanic yeah. soil right uh, the tobacco from Esteli is actually relatively new um, originally Esteli was where they made the cigars but they were not growing grow, tobacco yeah. there mm -hmm. Most of the tobacco was coming from uh, Yalapa mm -hmm. and Condega, 
and those are not really volcanic soils. No, that no. that's much more of a flatlands, uh, stressed kind of soil that gets flooded periodically and is much more like Cuba. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think it has a lot to do with the amount of sunlight or shade, you know, mountainous coverage, and and rainfall. That's why I think the two countries are so similar. The the. Um, just to speak to this theory about stress, it's something that we mentioned probably about a year ago, right, exactly. so, I, so maybe I ought to explain that a little bit. The current scientific thinking about why tobacco has as much flavor as it does relates to the fact that it doesn't always grow in fantastic soil, and that in fact when a, when a tobacco plant grows in poorer soil, Part of the way that it adapts is to pull whatever nutrients it can get and get them into the leaves and do all the photosynthesis and get busy about surviving. So uh, the, the, the new prevailing thought is Cuba was, when, when Columbus got here, was virtually a desert island. It was not lush. It was kind of sandy and barren. The soil wasn't great and the tobacco was very stressed and therefore very, very flavorful. We I always see. talk about the tobacco with it, but I also, it has to do with blending too, you of know? Course, yeah, I no, mean, course. we talk yeah, about absolutely. the tobacco, but it's, it's, the pers it's the blending, you know, that really sets it off, yeah. you know? Well, well, and, and, and to be fair, mm -hmm. Pep, uh, Don Pepin, yes. who is Cuban by birth, oh, yeah. uh, really, I think, pioneered Cuban style blending. Not just Cuban tasting cigars, but mm -hmm. his whole approach to blending I think is much more traditionalist Cuban than any of the other major master blenders that have been around for decades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and it shows up that yes. that mindset shows up in the way the cigars taste. Right. Yes. I have a question. Art might know this. I don't know. Um, when I first met Don Pepin he couldn't, he couldn't sell a cigar, any cigar. <laughs> right. What all of a sudden got him to where he is now? Well, he, uh, it's not like he changed his blending habits no, or something. No, I think, I think what happened when he first came, you know, to this country, he was working for a company called Tropical Tobacco. Right. And he, in fact, was up here in October of 2003 years before anybody really ever heard of him or knew of him. And he, he came in with Paul Palmer from, uh, from Tropical. Hmm? From Tropical. From yeah. Tropical. And they were trying to sell cigars to us. We had already been buying a number of blends from Tropical that Pepin actually had been working on. And we wanted to blend a cigar, and we called it uh, El, Barrasco, El Barrasco Fuego, which means the firestorm. We wanted to blend a really hot cigar. And he blended some up, and they were hot. I remember to this day, my brother smoked one, and I still don't think he's recovered from it. <laughs> Is that what happened? And that's, what happened. <laughs> and that's maybe the reason. Boy, well, it never changed mind. everything. It was, it it changed explained everything. a lot. And then, you know, we went through life with that and everything. And then all of a sudden, you know, Tropical started making cigars with Pepin blending them for other, other retailers and companies. And before you know it, he got a very solid following, and he went out on his own. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't know, I don't know anything about the finances, how that all started and everything. And bing, bang, boom, in a few years. Yeah, it's been, been fairly you know, meteor me meteoric. I mean, it's, yeah. we're 11 years old, the company. Yeah. <coughs> I, to be I where we are today wow. is just a testament to the family, yeah. to the Pete himself, and what yeah. How what established he's done. you are and mm -hmm. the bar you set for boutique cigar creation. Yes. Uh, Pepine, very, Jaime, very high. They, they, they live this. this yeah. Is this, well, but, they but live Rob, this, this. I, I think the absolute answer to your question is when Pepin left Tropical, that afforded him a freedom that he didn't have. And I don't just mean mm. to blend the way he wanted. Tropical was a massive company. It, even though most people never heard of them, they had more tobacco in warehouses yeah. in Nicaragua than virtually everybody wow. else yeah, combined. They did. 
And the biggest problem Pepin had there is he would blend these fantastic cigars out of the best tobacco they had, and then they would manufacture those cigars out of whatever tobacco mm. they had. Yeah. And when he got out from under that, mm. and he was able to make a cigar that was the same as the one he blended, everything took off like and a And he rocket. put his name on it. Well, that, and that speaks to the importance of, you know, our fields are ours. You know, our tobacco right. is ours. We, we do not sell tobacco anywhere. Every, everything we make is ours. I mean, so Papine controls every part of the process for himself. Jaime and Papine control every, every part of the process. They only put out product that they want to put out. You know, the, this I is... I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go, go, I please. also just wanted to say, their, I think their line is also so successful because even though they pack a lot of spice and pepper, it's it's not like other lines where it's just so strong, you know, because a lot of, a lot of lines are just strong. You yeah, don't right. get the flate like a lot of flavor. It's really and, well balanced. Yeah, and well, his you do. Even if it's not in your profile for all that spice, he knows how to take the spice, a lot of that, you know, spice and pepper, and he really knows how to... It's about... You it's know a, what you I mean? Know, we're, we're known for yeah. strong cigars, but it's really... It's about flavor. Yes. It's about, yeah. it's it's not about, about being oh, complexity strong. and yeah. flavor. Yes, and it's, it's complexity. Yeah. I yeah. think anybody can throw a boatload of Lajero into a no, cigar yeah. and blow yeah. your brains yeah. out. Yeah. And that doesn't mean it's going to taste good. And we, yeah. we've seen and that. He makes you know. cigars that mm -hmm. taste, good. taste good. Yeah. And I think people appreciated that. I, I, I was with him and Jaime when they started mm -hmm. contemplating for the first time using any kind of Ecuadorian tobacco. <laughs> and it was an exciting moment in my life because I live and breathe Ecuadorian tobacco, but their decision to start using that was a, was a big shift for them. Yes. I think it's time to go around the table and uh, give our review. I'll go first. And you go first. Go over. Oh no, Rob go first. Rob go first. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Rob. This cigar is fantastic. This is one of my all-time favorite cigars. I, I get a, a, a deep chocolate taste to it. I get the spiciness in the back of, of my palate. Um, I don't get any earthiness, and I don't get much cedar to it. Uh, I get a little bit of sweetness, a hint of sweetness to it, um, but mostly chocolate. I think it's a. I, it, I can't say enough good things about this cigar. I think it's absolutely fantastic. T. Yep, this is actually one of my favorite cigars. Um, since I've been doing the retro hail, this one is great when you retro hail. Yeah. I get a lot of nice, subtle sweetness in the retro hail. Um, I get a little bit of spice, just a little, and I'm happy about that, you know. Um, I get, I definitely get the cocoa, I get chocolatey, mm -hmm. um, I get a little earth, and I think the sweet cedar kind of goes in with, with the sweetness that, that you get on the retro hail. This is by far, just, this is my favorite out of the line. This is my favorite. Scott? Um, this, and it has is my a, name. this is a wonderful cigar. It's fantastic, mm -hmm. and, and to be able to, it, it is so. This can be a go-to cigar. This can be an everyday cigar. That's what you say. What you say this is seven dollars and thirty cents. Yes. I mean, yeah. You, yeah. you can smoke these all the time. Um, very most pronounced for me is the sweetness of the cigar. I am mm -hmm. getting a little bit of the earth. Um, uh, the pepper has subsided, and I am starting mm -hmm. to pick up a little bit of the cocoa, but not nearly as much as as you're describing. Yeah. Um, but great cigar. Yeah. Great oh. cigar. I um, sometimes I almost forget that, that it's in there. Yeah. Something I walk by and I'm like, yeah. oh, God, and then I, I could have had it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little harder next time. Uh, yeah, both of them. No, no, you'll start bleeding again. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already dizzy. <laughs> Paul? Well, you know, very often I think that cigars that get rated as number one cigar of the year really don't deserve that yeah. rating. Mm -hmm. This is one that from the day it came out I thought yeah. deserved that rating. And my opinion hasn't changed at all. I think it only gets better. I get cocoa pepper, cocoa pepper, like yeah. I said. At the beginning. <laughs> and there's hints of all kinds of other stuff. It's very mm -hmm. complex. But at the same time, it's very straightforward. The notes are what they are. Yes. And they're delivered beautifully. And uh, by the way, in case nobody else mentioned it, tons of smoke. I, yeah, yeah I wrote that down. It's, it's it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. I was actually it watching it just yeah. Yeah. Right here. You know, I was going to mention that, Paul. The, uh, it's rare that you find a number one rated cigar where those in the industry obviously really is, yeah. mm -hmm. agree with it. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys would agree that 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 yeah. doesn't happen too often. This is one where yeah, I really never hear pushback Absolutely on that. Absolutely deserved it. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 at this moment, I want to clarify something just so everybody mm -hmm. understands. Uh, obviously, when we bring these cigars to you, we try to bring you what we, at least initially in advance, feel that is a good bargain 
a great cigar. So sometimes when you when we review these things and we're effusive with praise, it's because we kind of know in advance that this is a really good cigar. It's still objective, and you've heard various members of the panel. If you've been watching this show long enough, you've seen various members, you know, not necessarily praise a cigar, and you cannot buy a rating. Oh, you cannot buy a rating on this show. But we 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 don't normally review what we in the industry would refer to as dog rockets. <laughs> so they were dog we kind of know in advance. But we made an exception in this. No. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. We kind of know in, we kind of know in advance when we smoke something that generally we're all going to like it and you're going to like it and that it represents you know, a reasonable purchase price. So with that in mind, we, I just want you to understand that, because every once in a while we have, should tell you this, that you cannot buy a review. Our, our opinions are our own. And if we like it, we say so, and if we don't like it, <coughs> as you too. know, we say that too. So I think it's time to put a number on it. Scott, why don't you, you start You give a review of it. What's that? You give your review. Yeah, you Oh, I can't. I, I can't. I can't improve upon anything you said. Well, that's I, I agree with it with Paul. <laughs> you know the cocos, the pepper, the, the complex <laughs> taste. I caught that. It's a great cigar. Yeah, I caught it too. Go ahead. Nine Put a number on it, Scott. Nine point five. Out of cups. How much? Nine point five. Paul, right there. Nine point five. This is, this is a home run. It, nine point seven. Whoa. She has to be different. Yes, she does. No, I don't. It's just it's a nine. Don't you gotta, be scared. You didn't, I'll did do you it. factor in the price point and the boatload yes. of smoke? And the fact that I just love it, 9.7. No, I, I screw it, 10. There Give it a 10. Whoa, there you 10. go. Give it a 10. Yes, this deserves he a 10. He is not scared. No, this screw deserves it. a 10. You really this, set her up for that This one. deserves uh -huh. a 10. Well, it really, it really deserves a 10. We can argue with it. You it really that. deserves it's a 10. Great go ahead, it Rob. It deserves a 10. It's a 9.75. It would have been a 10 for Rob, but he took the 10. Not scared of what? I'm not agreeing with T anymore, man. Not agreeing with T anymore. 9.99, Rob. <laughs> you could have said that. I, I'll go with the 9.75. It's, it's an excellent price point. It's a really, really good smoke. And it's it one is. that if you haven't tried, you know, this will appeal to most any smoker. Definitely recommend trying. I would so say this. anyone who enjoys premium cigars yeah. owes it to themselves yeah. to smoke this. Yeah, this is me. Really exactly. And if you this don't, this is you should everything try it. that's yeah. good about smoking a cigar. It yes. reminds me of a candy bar. It's certainly not your grandfather's Dutch Master. Let's put no. It. Did you say that? Well, this reminds inside, me of a candy inside. bar, inside. like a Snickers. You know, because it's got the chocolate. It's got sweet. But there's no pepper and chocolate. But but it's it's like you know. Keep going. I get the nut too, so it's. All good. right, that half hour flew by. <laughs> I did. It's time to say goodbye. Just say peanut oh, butter again. Is it done? It is done. done. Oh, that okay. half hour. I gave it a hook. Life. Life's too short to smoke no, cheap cigars. Hi, Mom. Smoke often and smoke happy and smoke this. Yeah. Go Bye ahead. Bye for now. Smoke sweet. Cigars are fun. Ciao for now, everybody. Tom, again, thank Ciao. you very much thank for you. joining us. To my father. The shark dressed man. Thank, thank you very always. much. And it's uh, always a pleasure to have you on. And again, we want to thank everybody at home for the growing audience Rick that you order. are. And we'll see you again next Prevents. week. Oops. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to Cigar Time. Yes. Seems like I say that all the time. It seems Once like. <laughs> but we genuinely welcome you back. We genuinely. are thrilled again that you've honored us by tuning in and watching the world's most highest rated, most watched show all about premium cigars. Absolutely. And we're very happy to have Tom McCormick back from My Father's Thank Cigars. You. The Thank week you. flew by. The week flew it's by. Nice it's amazing. Back. It was Thank amazing. You. Uh, again, we're going to smoke another creation by My Father's Cigars, and the lovely Miss T will tell you all about our cigar today. Our cigar today is by My Father. It's the Flor de las Antillas. I love this cigar, by the way. It's one of my favorites because I've had it before. Um, the wrapper is a Nicaraguan sun grown and the binder and filler, Nicaraguan. The sizes are a Bellicoso, a Gordo, a Robusto, and a Toro. And the flavor profile is Coco. Excellent. Finally said it right. Pepper, sweet cedar, and earth. And it has a gorgeous band and a nice foot band. Make sure you take that off. Yeah, the footman tastes awful if you burn it. Some guy almost lit the other day, and I said, oh, take it off. So funny. funny. He really was going to light thing it. thing about you. <laughs> you take it off. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, my God. <laughs>
Well, you're just jealous when I beat you to it. No. 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 <laughs> For the record, when we had our your five favorite all-time cigars, mm -hmm. uh, this was right at the top of my list. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's just a really good cigar, and it doesn't have that m much spice. Which well, I skip me. We'll uh, we'll skip you. Okay. Scott, your first impression? Absolutely not. <laughs> I will not go first. Rob will Rob, go first. You're All first. Right. Uh, when I first like this up, I agree. Get a, I get a, a uh, real punch of pepper. <laughs> I get a real hint of pepper as soon as I light this up. Um, and also, I'm going to get a chocolatey taste. He likes to get slapped. The, okay, I do, actually. I know you guys want to say it. I don't lie. I get a, a chocolatey taste from this. I right, love the way up. you mm -hmm. say chocolate. Chocolatey? I'm from Brooklyn. I say chocolate. 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 You're from, I don't, from you say, Philadelphia. You, you say, say chocolate. 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 Uh, and chocolate. And coffee and water. Um, it's starting off great. It's got a little bit of spice to it. What is most pronounced to me, though, is the sweet. I mean, it's just yeah. a really sweet cigar. Sweet on cocoa, purpose. Cocoa, cocoa, I'm not getting cocoa yet. Yeah, I, I get it right away. I it up. Right away. Mm -mm. Yeah. How about but wood? I don't get wood. I'm too old. That's a shame. Not like a personal problem. <laughs> Tia, do you get wood? I hope not. Oh, she can. I know how to chop wood. Oh, how much wood? Uh, kind of wood chuck, chuck. Right. Well, you're right. Were you yeah. done with your initial uh, thoughts? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't it's sure. Cocoa, 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 and a um, little bit of pepper. I love it. You do get the spice, but it's not overpowering. It's actually kind of like in the back. So you get this cocoa first, and then you get the spice coming right after it. And I like that. That's nice, mm -hmm. you know? A, it's a different take. Instead of getting the, you know, a smack of pepper first, you get the cocoa and then a little pepper. You after. know those um, one, those two, dark punch. chocolates that have That's a little bit of yeah, kind of like in that, them? right? So you get the you get the chocolate yes. first. I mean the chocolate first, <laughs> and, yeah. and then you get some some pepper behind. Yes. it's like that. It's like yeah, just what Paul said, just like that. Well, I for one, uh, it started out with a load of pepper. You get the sweet right off the bat. Uh -huh. You get the pepper and the sweet pretty close together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a nice finish to it. And I do believe from my previous experience smoking these mm. that uh, it's only going to just improve. Yes. Yeah. And it's box press. It's, it's, a, it's, soft, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a soft box press. Soft yeah. box yeah. press but it's, yeah. I love it. I love it. Rob, what's the price point on these? Uh, they range in price from 7 to $9. Uh, the one we're smoking now is the Toro, which is seven thirty. Mm, that's all in the sweet cocoa spot. This caliber, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's tremendous. a great yeah. price. Tremendous. This is a really nice premium. It's in the sweet no chocolate spot. Right. <laughs> it's funny you asked that. This was the number one rated cigar in 2012. That's right. 2012? Yes. Wow, that long yeah. ago? Yeah. yeah. Time flies when you're having yeah. fun. You know, it's funny. Yeah. talk about a lot, a lot of cigars only having a short shelf life, like maybe a year. This one is not slowed down no. at all. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. At if, all. if anything, this is just... Uh, picked up more and more. Yeah. It's hard to keep this one in. I think it speaks to the fact that it's it's kind of approachable for everybody who smokes cigars. It if is. you're a more mild smoker, uh, mm -hmm. like Tia said she is, um, or more full-bodied like off. like Rob says, uh, it's you know it's it's, it's not going to blow your head off if you're a more mild smoker, and it's not going to let you down if you're a more full-bodied yeah. smoker. So exactly. it's, it's really for everybody. It is. What's the origin of this cigar? It is an, it's all Nicaraguan. It's I love, so there you go. Great cigar. Well, before we get too far into the show, I think uh, Miss T should give you a little primer about our social media availabilities to everybody and her own too. Oh yeah, I forgot about, about that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you funny. forgot about it. Uh, I try not to be so vain. Um, so our, <laughs> I do, I really do. I can't help she you. Know. Like, um, it's just for a in me. Or. It's that aura <laughs> that I have that so few people just don't. But She's anyway, I am. Um, so our social media for Cigar Cigars is the face our Facebook page. Um, like I said before, you can go on there. You can see all the advertising, the deals that we do, the max packs that we have. Um, one of the things I love to show customers are our Max Packs. We cannot forget about our house brands as well, too. Our Eduardo line. We have some really great cigars in there. And the prices 
amazing. Um, we also have an Instagram for Cigar Cigars, so you can also go on that. Like I said, Scott, he mainly deals with that one, and he does a lot of reviews on there, and he posts a lot of new cigars that are not even out yet, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, as far as our, oh, our website, oh, can't forget that, our CC Cigar website, you can go on there, you can find out where all 10 stores are. Um, our, I think our website is very easy to navigate. I know a lot of websites are kind of difficult, some of them, but this one is really easy. I mean, you go on there, you can just pick whichever category you want, um, all the way down from the hottie to the hottie page to the max packs. So you can even look at our lounges, what's in the humidor, what's new. So that's pretty cool. And you can watch our past shows on there as well. Um, my Facebook is Cigar, well, they made me change it. I'm so mad. They made everybody change it, but it's a Tia Calhoun and um, it's a Cigar Goddess. And you can go on there and see all the pics that I take, um, all the events that we do. I'm always taking pictures of that, showing what we give out. And my Instagram is Cigar Goddess, that's C-G-A-R Goddess. And you can also see, um, you know, a lot of things that we do as well, too. I think you and spelled cigar wrong. No, that's how I like to spell it. C-G. Cigar. 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 C. Yeah, spell it. Spell C -G -A -R. cigar. C-G-A-R. Cigar really should be C-G-A-R. Cigar. Where's cigar. the I? There's no it's I in cigar. cigar. It's cigar. <laughs> There's no I in cigar. There's, There's no, a we, but no I. That's it's right. There is no I in cigar. Right. It's not an I. Way, it's a we. You need a whole team <laughs> to do the cigars, right? That's right. You do. 200 hands. Well, it's a, you know, someone said I, I don't, don't talk enough, like so I'm, I'm going to start like talking more. you need to bomb a village or something? Bookends. Uh, did you forget that? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you forget that you'll be going out to events? And I will be going out to events. Um, if you'd like to have me at one of your events, <laughs> you can call um, our <laughs> store <laughs> and, and, and um, you can, you know, book me <laughs> for, sh for an event. So. I would love to have you at an event. No. An event. During an event. Uh, yeah, the, the double entendres freely flow here. A triple entendre. <laughs> triple. <laughs> that was a loss in the sauce entendre. Okay, back to cigars. Thank yeah, you very yeah, much. That was a lovely good. presentation. Or lost in the Miss spice. I think we should go around the table and get I a. I need a light. Oh, um, it's okay.